Hey Cubes, uh, this is Jaden Gifford here. Um, welcome to Ar Icebox Archives if you're new. Um, it's And for those of you who have been supporting me for a little while, uh, sorry for the wait. I know it's been a while, a uh, few months I think, since I've uh, made a video last. Um, sorry for that. Um, but I'm here to start a new archive section uh, today but before that I uh, do want to share some things um I went to a concert Mercy Me concert last night it was awesome the band was great uh, Jeremy Camp was there uh, there was another guy David uh, Leonard David Leonard <clears throat> excuse me sorry uh, was there it was really cool everyone was really nice. I saw a bunch of people that I knew um, there. I'm not musicians or anything, just regular people. Um, and it was just, it was really fun. And it was really cool. And it was a great time. And uh, today I went to Presque Isle for uh, Education Day at Umpy. And uh, we stopped at a Walmart nearby. And I got a pack of the new... Pokemon cards, uh, the Sword and Shield cards, and I wanted to show you what I got, um, or at least I want to show you one thing that I got. I'm not gonna show you everything. Uh, I will show you like here are the here are the cards. Here's what I got. Um, but the best thing that I got, I had a really good feeling just before I opened the pack, and I scored uh, this. Stongener. This is amazing. It's really cool. Like a V. I don't really know. Didn't really know much about like what would be in the packs or what I could possibly get. Um. For this new series. Um. But I was really. I knew that V is like taking. Uh. The place of GX. For like the new powerhouse really rare cards. And I got one. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, but yeah. Now on to my new archive. So it is. A. Review. I'll tell you a little bit, bit about it. It's a culinary. Review archive. like, Which is. Just my eccentric way of saying uh sort of eccentric way of saying i will be telling you guys about different uh meals i've gotten i get at restaurants um just local restaurants places i ha just eat at like if i've eaten there and it's like maybe a fat maybe a fat like if i get a really crappy or a really good experience at a fast food restaurant maybe i'll do a video about it um, but mostly it's going to be like, uh, places like maybe Pizza Hut, uh, Applebee's, maybe the rare Olive Garden. Uh, but yeah, so today it's Applebee's, what I had for dinner. Um, first I'll give you a little highlight of like the service, like the waitress, what, she was nice, uh, relatively patient, um, I think, uh... Like, the hostesses, like, when we were being seated, um, one of them was maybe a little short-tempered, maybe a little rude, uh, or, pardon me, impolite, um, but, yeah, I'm not really gonna focus a whole lot on the server unless I get really good or really bad. This is just mediocre, mediocre, um, and... Oh, yeah, it's the Applebee's right in Bangor, uh, Bangor, Maine. Um, and so I uh, got the sweet and savory grilled chicken dish, which it has like this um, cranberry pecan rice that the grilled chicken is served on with like the apple, cucumber, uh, a Granny Smith apple cucumber 
relish uh, with a lemon vinaigrette uh, to finish it. It was really good. Like the flavors were so nice. The rice was mild with like some sweetness from the cranberry. Uh, the chicken was tender and like very, like you could taste the spices that they put in there, like the seasoning. It was very well seasoned. Um, and I have had experiences before with their chicken where it's burnt, like almost to a crisp, but today it was just like, uh, just a little crispy on the edges, which, and, um, it was really good chicken. The apple and the cucumber gave a really nice flavor to it, uh, and really nice texture, uh, that was really, I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. I've never had it before. Uh, it's a new menu item uh it wasn't there the last time i went um and it's just was re it was really good and the lemon vinaigrette was it really pulled everything together it gave like a tartness that complemented the sweet from the cranberry the uh flavors from the apple and the like the apple was sort of tart as well and then the flavor from the cucumber just brought every just like the mildness from it just oh, was really nice. Um, and then it sour just complemented the um, flavors from the chicken really well. They like really everything really balanced it out. It was a really balanced meal, um, flavor wise, uh, item like ingredient wise. Um, like you got plenty. You got grain. You had vegetable protein fruit you had plenty of fruit um it was really good meal the only the only thing that i would say i didn't care for was the serving size it was a little little small like you had this like i don't know maybe like eight inch uh plate and it covered maybe a f half of it maybe like um maybe like three eighths of it of the plate uh it was a really i, I was kind of shocked to see the serving size and then like my uh dad got two and like got two chicken breasts with his parmesan chicken uh, like a full plate full of pasta uh with his dish uh, my brother got a very large chicken breast which mine was large to was decently sized too um and it was sliced it was like chicken strips um and it just was like sort of, you could see, you could really see the difference uh, in the portion sizes. It was a little confusing, like why? Uh, but it was the flavor and the excellent taste and how well it was prepared uh, was really, it really made up for the lack of serving size and I'm used to larger meals especially when I go there because I usually get the uh, broccoli alfredo chicken alfredo uh, there which is pretty decently portioned um it's you get a lot <laughs> in that dish um so I wasn't really used to like getting a small portion um there at Applebee's um but it was really good and some so I'm gonna uh, I'll rate it, I'll give it like a star rating, like from a scale of five, zero to five. Um, and I'll give the meal a 4.5. It was really, it was delicious. Um, really balanced, uh, pretty satisfying. Um, if I left, I mean, I had room for dessert, uh, which was pretty good. I mean, I don't usually do dessert, but I did tonight. Um... And I had enough room for it. Uh, it was sat completely satisfying flavor-wise. Uh, it just was a little lacking on the substance. on uh, That is to say, on portion. Um, so yeah, all together, I'll give it a 4.5 stars. Um, and I really recommend it. Uh, like, if you don't mind, like, a little smaller portions, um, or if you're just looking to try something new that's really interesting, like, uh, in flavors that you may never have 
uh, tried together before, I would really recommend it. Um, so yeah, please hit that like and subscribe button, uh, and keep a lookout for more videos. And if you like this uh, new archive series, the Culinary Archive, please let me know, and I will definitely do more. I'm planning on doing a few more, at least. Uh, but if you guys like it, I will definitely do more. So yeah, have a good night, and bye.